Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Ultimate Tots is coming. It's almost here. It is this Friday. I want to take a look at the content that we could be seeing this next week. And also, we whipped up a little bit of a predictions team, which, of course, most of the Ultimate Team of the Season hype leading up to the actual event is kind of guessing and figuring out who's going to be in Ultimate Team of the Season. So, last year the team was pretty good, but there's also some caveats to the team where EA throw in some lower tier lower price cards for kind of like pack filler I guess you could say and I kind of put that into account with this predictions as well so of course I made this with my designer Yaz his link is down below in the description but let's get into it right there's a lot to talk about today and I also want to talk about the efigs pack code right that pack code that was released last night mentioning ultimate team of the season rewards we already have ultimate tots rewards so I kind of have an idea of what those might be but let's talk through it so again the Ultimate Tots squad, we'll take a quick look at last year's team. This is the squad that we had last year. It was 20 players, 20 or 22 players, I believe, last year for Ultimate Team this season. So it was a normal squad size. Now, this year, all of the sides have been 15 players. So I'm hoping that EA does the business this, this week and releases a full 20 or 22 player um, ultimate Tots team. I think they need to. If it's only 14, or, well, if it's only 15 players, that's a big letdown in my opinion. But I think that's the most likely. But I'm being very positive in saying that I hope it is not. So let's get into the prediction. We're starting with defenders and we're going to move forward. So I've got the Tots guys here in defense. Two goalkeepers, Oblak and Navas. I think Oblak's a shoe and he was in last year as well. I mean, Neuer's already had the team of the year. I don't know if they want to release a Tots Neuer. I guess they could, but I think Navas and Oblak are going to get in. And then in the defense, you usually have some of your lower tier cards. There's not as many defenders. I mean, if, remembering the Ultimate Tots squad from last year, there were like five defenders in the whole thing, and the rest was midfielders and attackers because that's hype, right? That's what people want to see. They want to see the 98s, the 99s. Of course, we don't have 99s this year, but they want to see those big names, and EA puts those big names in. So... Teo Hernandez, Marquinhos, Varan, Cancelo. Cancelo being more of like your lower tier option as a part of this group here. Uh, still a really good card. I think that would be a great low tier option. Last year we had Carvel Hall as kind of like our low tier defender and also Hummels. So as long as Hummels does not get in again or a card kind of like that or like DeVry who's high rated um, but doesn't have that good of stats, I hope they choose somebody like Marquinhos over him who has the great stats. I think Teo Hernandez would be a great left back as well. It's kind of between him and Alfonso Davies for me if they're going to put a left back in. Um, I could also see them maybe even throwing in like a Luke Shaw um, if that's a lower tier card they wanted to put in. But I think Varane is the, like the only shoe in here because he is the highest rated Tots defender that we have in, the, in Tots this year, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. He's like one of the highest rated ones and he's also the most expensive. So I think that he has to get in. Now let's move on up a little bit. Let's go to midfielders, right? Of course, there's going to be more midfielders and attackers in this team. And this is where I put a lot of the players in the prediction. KDB, Sancho, Goretzka, Rashford, Mount, and Kimmich is who I think you're going to feature in the midfield. Again, very attacking, right? Then that's how the squad was last year. If you look at the team, like there were strikers everywhere in the, in the squad. So not that many midfielders. Now I'm kind of went off of price here, but also throwing a couple, you know, lower tier cards like that Mason Mount. I don't know how much EA is going to throw in. Um, it, are they going to factor in IRL performance or uh, price in FIFA? It's going to be interesting to see what they do. But Sancho, Goretzka, Ratchford, of course, the most expensive here. I'm kind of on the edge about Goretzka. I think he could get in, but that's a lot of Bundesliga presence in the midfield. So I've tried to also split up with this Ultimate Tot squad. Make sure that I, you know, Make sure I include all the leagues, League One, Bundesliga, uh, you know, all the leagues, all the top five leagues. They need to be represented. represented. And uh, I think Bundesliga and Prem are going to have the biggest showing, in my opinion. So I try to show that. And of course, this midfield is all Bundesliga and all Prem. But as we get to the strikers, uh, you'll see. But I think KDB, Kimmich, Mount, Rashford, of course, very expensive. Goretzka with the insane juiced up card. The one card that you might see from this and you're like, where's the young? Where is the young? I think he could obviously get in. He might get in over a Goretzka, over a Sancho, over a Rashford. I think that's very possible as well. But that is my prediction for the midfield. And moving on to the attackers. <clears throat> Excuse me, the attackers. The the full, I guess, the base and the meat of the team, I guess you could call it. Like what everybody's looking for, right? Lewandowski, Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Neymar, 
they're in, right? That's almost not 100% guaranteed, but if they're not in, that's a huge problem, right? Um, and I also threw in Salah because Salah had a great year and it's a 96 rated attacking card. Last year we had Mane that was in and I feel like if Mane got in last year, Salah probably gets in this year, uh, being one of the most expensive Prem Tots cards and almost also highest rated, right? Sun is a 94 and around the same price as Salah, um, but I think Salah would get the edge over a Hyunmin Sun card. So these are my attacking predictions. And then one more set of attackers right here, Lukaku, Kane, Suarez, and Ben Yedder. Now I threw Lukaku in because of the year that he had, and I threw Suarez in because of what they did with the La Liga as well. And I think if you look at the Tot squad last year, again, you've got some guys like in here that are like Benzema, you had in the, in the Tot squad. Again, you had Mane, you had Ben Yedder on the bench, you had a lower tier striker in a Mobley. And I, my lower tier striker this year in that prediction screen was Harry Kane. Right now, of course, uh, Harry Kane, Bruno Fernandez, that was a card that was not included in the midfield that you guys might think should be. I think that depending on who wins the PFA Player of the Year and who gets the SBC, which by the way is coming on Friday, between one of those two cards, whoever wins that and gets the SBC, their TOTS card will get an SBC with the new card design type, the award winner type, should be at least. Um, and I don't think they'll get into Ultimate TOTS. That's just my opinion. So that is the ultimate team of the season prediction that I have for this next week. Now, of course, you're like, man, what's going to happen with these cards when they come out? Now, of course, if you take a look at some graphs, a lot of these guys, obviously, they're going to drop. They're getting supplied. Take a look at Neymar last year. He got low during guaranteed SBC day, went up a little bit, and then boom, the weekend hits. He goes from 6.2 mil all the way down to 5.2 on Sunday. Now, talking about ultimate tots from last year, it was very dead. The content was bad, literally bad. We had a good day one flashback SBC with Mertens, and then after that, it was just very quiet. And you can tell with the prices on the market, right? Neymar's price was lowest on Sunday, Monday because the content was not good. People sold off their cards from Weekend League, and his price just kind of stayed the same for the next like two to three weeks, even with summer heat coming out. Um, people wanted these TOTS cards. They probably got pretty rare, of course, as they do because some people leave the game after TOTS. But these cards kind of got low and they just kind of hovered, right? You take a look at a lot of these cards and that was the case. Same thing with Mbappe, a couple small fluctuations. Some of the cards bounced back up a little bit, but I think it's going to be the same thing this year, right? Boom, you see Mbappe goes to 3-1 and then on the weekend, he's 3-3, 3-3 again the next weekend. Um, but with the Euros coming out and with the content being, you know, summer heat being out too and us expecting that again, I think people are going to be more willing to sell off some of these cards this year. I think we're going to have more price drops. Even though these are pretty low, I still think you're going to see prices drop off even more for the rest of this market and the rest of this game. Uh, so for the, the cards that do get in, they will definitely drop, right? You're going to see prices already dropping into Friday. You've seen sell-off already, um, and that's something to take into account too. Like Messi was 2-5. 256 at a really low point earlier this week. You know, there might be enough panic selling as we head into Friday where some cards will actually get low and then rebound up. I remember last year with KDB, he was actually lowest right before he got re released back into packs because so many people wanted this card. They sold it off expecting him to drop more, and then the supply just wasn't there, right? 99 rated card obviously didn't get packed that much there weren't that many safe packs to just spam supply on the market and he actually went up right now that's also something we see with cards that didn't get into team of the season like last year i remember serge nabry was not into ultimate tots he went from like two like 300 and what was it like 200 and something thousand coins uh, he bounced up a lot right i think a prime candidate would be this de young like i said in my prediction if de young does not get in this is a very meta card, very popular item, and it's been sold off in the past week, down 100K, right? If this is like below a million coins on a Friday morning, if there is panic selling on Friday morning, and we'll talk about this later on in the week, of course, um, you know, a card like this, if he does not get in, probably going to shoot back up right away. Unless there's insane SBC content, cards that are expected to get into Ultimate Tots that don't. I mean, even people thinking Benzema could get in because he was in last year. There might be a market movement there. Jordi Alba from League One could potentially get in, but if he doesn't, maybe he shoots back up. I would really watch these Bundesliga cards, right? Goretzka, Sancho, Kimmich, Lewandowski, if either or any of those cards do not get in, I would expect a bounce back because those are very rare items. You know, even, even from the Serie A, like Teo Hernandez, in my prediction, uh, 
a very popular card. Lukaku, a very rare card. Mertens could get in a team this season as well. So there's just so much potential for these cards that don't get in if there is panic selling for them to bounce back, especially some of the League One, right? Bamba, uh, Depay, high-rated card. Di Maria, high-rated card that could get in. Ben Yedder even, if he does not get in. That would be very interesting. So that's kind of the initial market movements that we could expect. Now let's talk about this, right? Let's talk about these rewards right here. I have an idea of what this might be. Now, this kind of ties back to how the content last year was not that hot, and I want to explain why. But also, um, so this dropped last night, and everybody was like, what in the world is eFigs? I think we figured it out that unless EA has some brand new abbreviation for eFigs, eFigs stands for the five nations that the top five leagues represent, right? England, France, Italy, Germany, and Spain. Top five leagues, right? Um, eFigs TOTS three players pack. So to us, we're like, okay, is this ultimate TOTS rewards or what's going on here? There's a three player pack and an 11 player pack, which means foot champions rewards. But since uh, earlier in the year, in April, when they added out all, when they added all the rewards into the game, there's already rewards for this next week of ultimate team of the season. And they're actually in game as well. I believe if you take a look at the foot champs, uh, which I'm kind of doing right now, uh, there, it says Ultimate Tots players. If you take a look in game, it says if you go to schedule, I think, and then we go details. Yes, Ultimate Tots 11 players. So, um, what does it say after this, though? Ah, the e figs are the week after that. So, I think this nails down my theory of what this is going to be. So, these e figs rewards basically, what it is are team of the season rewards that are coming out after. Team of the season is over. So they're calling it eFigs TOTS 11. It basically just guarantees you players from the top five leagues team of the season. It's basically the rewards that we're going to be seeing for the rest of this year. So it's not ultimate TOTS rewards because we're still going to have specific ultimate team of the season rewards for the squad, right? And that is this next week, um, as, you, as we saw right here, ultimate TOTS 11 players, and then eFigs for the next week after that. So the eFigs packs that we have added to the code right there are literally, in my opinion, just the rewards that we are going to be having after team of the season. As we get into the Euros, after summer heat, those are the rewards that we'll have probably for like the rest of the summer. So that is all that is, in my opinion. Uh, I know there's a lot of conversation, a lot of speculation alongside of that. Now, one thing that happened last year during Ultimate Tots as well, kind of reining the conversation back in to Ultimate Team of the Season. The reason why the content was really dead uh, kind of like this week with League One, the guaranteed SBC was uh, this week like it's been delayed, right? And last year, we did not get an ultimate TOTS guaranteed. They released what was called a deluxe TOTS guaranteed, which was a exchange the squad to earn a TOTS player from the Premier League, Serie A, Bundesliga, League One, or La Liga. So it was basically like the eFigs pack, uh, and they didn't have a specific guaranteed TOTS for players in this team right here. So hopefully that changes and we see pack code this next week related to a legit ultimate tots guaranteed that'd be very hype but uh, i'm just saying that last year was not very hype now again speaking of the content that could be coming this week uh league one content with the voland sbc awar was a really good one right joe gomez was okay but the content we've obviously seen and you can look at the sbc fodder prices um to to kind of show you this and look at the index uh, of, of the fodder we had insane insane content during la liga and bundesliga right and all this stuff went up the sbcs were nutty they were incredible now last year stuff was very not hype in ultimate team of the season right before we got to summer heat because summer heat came out right after ultimate tots so i'm wondering if ea is going to keep ultimate team of the season again this year not very hype but then you know of course give us insane content for the euros and for the summer heat that's coming in two weeks in my opinion, I really hope that they give us hype content during Ultimate Team of the Season and ride that into Summer Heat. But if they really want to make a statement with their Euros content and with Summer Heat, again, this year, if that's what they're going to do, I don't know if they're going to have hype content this next week, which pains me to say it. Now, also, if you remember the upgrade packs that we had last year, they were terrible uh, during Ultimate Tots. We had an 82-plus upgrade, the 82 to 88 and an 83 plus. It was really terrible. We didn't have the league specific upgrades and that just was a main part of why ultimate team of the season was so bad. And that's why you saw those prices get their lowest on like Sunday to Monday and then rebound up from there. So again, we'll talk about this later on throughout the week. 
more extensively, but I wanted to kind of today talk again about what this code means. Uh, I think we kind of have it nailed down, show you what I think is going to be for ultimate team this season. And, um, talk about the content that could be coming because of that. Now we'll focus specifically on the market movements a little bit more um, in the coming days as we get closer to that coming out. So, uh, and as we see people panic sell, but that's ultimate team of season in a nutshell. And again, hopefully EA brings the hype. I think we'll be able to tell if it's gonna be hype day one because whatever SBC they bring, and also if they make a squad of just 15 players or if they make a full 20 or 22 man squad for all things hot. So hopefully EA bring the juice with that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.